I'm Rhonda Anderson of Just Dog and Adventures in Training. We are here to talk about keeping our puppy's attention and focus on us. We're going to teach them some fun engagement games. Um, it's really important that puppies learn to pay attention to us and that they are excited and happy and want to be with us. That way it's easier with training when we want to teach them commands when it comes to sit, stay, uh, teaching them recall to come to us. We want to make things positive and happy and get our puppies eager to please and work for us, right? And one of the easiest things we can do is just playing games with them. And it's so easy for, for you, for your family, the kids, everyone to get involved. I like the tuggy games, are great. Uh, puppies love this game. You want to make sure that you're maybe setting aside a couple favorite toys that come out when you're doing these training sessions. And they don't have to be long. You can do a few different training sessions throughout the day, maybe 10 or 15 minutes, uh, especially with puppies, because they do have um, short attention spans, and you want to take it slow with them. Uh, but yes, yeah, so keeping the toys, playing with them, you're keeping puppy engaged with you while you're playing. And of course, there should be rules to the game. So puppies get rude in their play, getting mouthy, bitey, uh, growly. That's when I would stop the game, put the toy away for a little bit, and then go back to it. And another way to keep our puppies engaged with us, and this is, again, with puppies, we're, we're teaching them something new, so we want to be using lots of treats, lots of positive praise, and uh, get puppies following you around, get that eye contact, teach them to follow you. Yes. And remember, I like to mark with yes, so puppy knows that that's what you're expecting of them. You want to have that eye contact, so anytime you're looking at you, yes, you're going to reward. Mark with yes. Yes. Good. Excellent. Yes. Good. Good. So we really want to reward that eye contact is really important. Yes. Yes. And when you're doing lots of these exercises, yes. You want to build up, do lots of repetitions, then you can incorporate a command word. Uh, whether it's look or watch me. Watch me. Yes. So that's where you're holding the treat up to your eyes. And as soon as puppy gives you that eye contact, you're going to reward with yes and treat. Watch me. Yes. Good. Excellent. And so doing lots of repetitions of those, short little training sessions every day, and you'll be surprised how quickly your puppy learns and pays attention. Watch me. Yes. Good girl. Excellent. So that's one idea to practice. Another game I like to play is hide and seek. And this one's especially fun if you've got kids in the house because they can all get involved as well. And puppy can be distracted and you're going to go hide in another room or just around the corner in the house. You can do this outside as well, but we're going to do this inside. Yes, good girl, good girl. And make sure you have treats and giving lots of praise. This is really building puppies' excitement to want to be with you and also works great when you're teaching good recall skills. I'm gonna try that again. So this is exactly
exactly what we want. We want that enthusiasm and excitement. They're excited to find us. Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. Yes, good girl. And in doing these games too, you're also teaching that puppy's name is positive, right? We're making the name sound really exciting and fun. Good girl, yay! Good job. And so that's a great fun one to play and it really builds that excitement and wanting to be with us. Another fun game I like to teach our puppies is touch. So when they're first learning, it helps if you've got maybe a, a nice wet treat. You can rub a little bit of the scent on your hand. Okay, and then we want puppy's nose to touch the hand. Daisy. Yes, good girl. So I'm not saying the word touch when we're first learning. I just want her to learn that touching nose to the hand is what I'm wanting from her. Yes, good girl. Yes, good girl. Good, so once she starts to understand, the nose touches the hand, she gets a treat reward. Now I'm gonna save the command. Touch, yes, good girl. And this is a fun game to play, uh, especially if you're out and there's distractions going on. It's amazing how quickly your puppy will turn around. Uh, you say a game of, or play a game of touch and your puppy is instantly back engaged with you. Touch. Yes, good girl. Good girl, Daisy. Touch. Yes, good girl. And we had to help Daisy a little bit there. Excellent. So I'm gonna encourage everyone to practice some of these engagement games with their puppies. Another way too is hand feeding your pup. Um, so you can be hand feeding their breakfast to them. Uh, that also keeps puppy engaged with you. So each family member can be giving a little bit of their food, making sure puppy is sitting nicely and taking the treat gently from your hand. Right, teaching good manners. We don't want puppy jumping up or snatching the treat out of your hand. Okay, so we are going to move along. I'm going to show you these things with our adult dog, Rosie, just so you can see the difference. Puppies are going to need a little more time learning and figuring things out and a little more patience. You're going to do shorter training sessions. And uh, with our adult dogs, they're going to pick things up a lot quicker and be a little more advanced where we can work out and around distractions. Doing this with puppies, you're going to want to work in a very low um, or no distraction area while they're first learning. All right, so we will be back with Rosie shortly. Hi, we are back and we are with Rosie. Just showing you some ways to stay engaged with your puppy. So Rosie here likes a good game of tug, but of course we play by the rules. And uh, we keep it safe, we keep it fun anything out of hand, then we just stop the game. And she's going to be super gentle with her mouth. Yes, good girl. But tuggy is a great way to um, exercise your pup, keep them mentally and physically um, stimulated, and also engaged with us. Good girl. Yes. So I like to still have treats handy and make sure we, re we reward when they're playing nice, uh, dropping the toy for us, right? So with, with Rosie, she knows to take the toy and to drop it on command. That's something we've taught. And uh, Daisy as a puppy is still learning. Good girl, Rosie. Okay, so those are great ways to keep puppies and our adult dogs engaged with us. Again, keeping that special toy or two that comes out just when you're having those fun play times. Okay, and uh, another way, of course, as we had shown you with Daisy, is the eye contact. 
We want that focus on us. And especially if we're out and about under distractions, there's dogs, people walking by, cats, squirrels, that sort of thing. We want our dogs to pay attention to us at all times and not what's going on around them. So we're going to use our treats and get Rosie up. Yes, good girl. Good, yes. And we're going to practice that watch me. Watch me. Yes, good girl. So a little out of practice, but Rosie knows what watch me means, and that's the size. Eye contact. Watch me. Yes, good girl. Watch me. Yes. Good girl. Good. And a great way to have them engaged is just practice walking around your house, out in the yard safely once they're good at this, where they're following you and staying close. You may want to have a leash on, especially if you're out in the yard, so you're keeping the puppy with you and engaged. Yes, good girl. Again, you're having treats handy. Yes. Good girl. So rewarding, marking yes every time they're following and paying attention to you. Yes. Yes. This is kind of building up also to good leash manners, right? If we have our puppy or adult dog engaged and focused on us, they're certainly going to listen a lot better when we do have to give them commands or when we're trying to teach good um, leash skills. Yes, good girl. Okay, so I'm going to play a little hide and seek with Rosie. I'll just get her distracted over here. She already knows to uh, down stay, sit stay, but that's something we'll be teaching a little bit later on. I just want to have her distracted at the moment. like you would with your puppies, you still want to play these hide and seek games with your adult dogs too, right? The training never stops. We never want to stop having fun with our dogs. doesn't matter how old they are, right? We want to keep them engaged with us and, and excited to be around us. Good girl. showing you the difference between a puppy learning and an adult dog. So we're going to have some more fun engaging videos uh, with the rest of the team. They'll be showing their pups and their dogs as well and just the different learning styles because every dog is different. So we please encourage you to uh, send us your questions, your feedback, anything you're struggling on. Um, but yeah, keep those puppies engaged, okay? And we will continue on and keep the training flowing. And we're going to challenge you to keep that training up with your dogs. All right. Take care and we'll talk soon.